Hey guys, what's going on? So I heard gunshots. Okay. I came outside. Is anyone shot or anything? No. They, they what's that from? Those two right there attacked me. They attacked you? They attacked me. Why? Because I was trying that... to defend a girl. Okay. Do you They're medical attention? No. Whenever you're lonely, just pick up the phone and call me. I'll be there. Show ya, you're my one and only, like I told ya. Good morning, everybody. So here we are with another episode of Crazy News Reacts. I'm RJ Smith, and I scour the globe for the weirdest, strangest, craziest news there is and bring it to you every day at midnight. Before we get going, please hit the like and subscribe. And at the end, if you liked the video, please share it with your friends. Let's go. Just hang out over here, sir, okay? What's going on? Why are you in my yard right now? Because we're conducting an investigation. Because someone called investigation? saying there were shots fired. So there that's how it's done. We're, so we're not taking your word for it. We're staying okay, right well, here. Do what you got to do then. All right? That's what we're going to do. Do what you got to do. No, go in the house. Go in the house. Go in the house. We'll lock the house down. We don't care. We'll lock the house down. What you mean? We'll surround it. Here we go. A lot to unpack. First of all, you never tell a cop, get off my fucking property. When they are investigating a 911 call, they have every right to go on your property. In fact, they have authority to put everyone in detainment and cuffs until they figure things out. Now, this house is not in the hood, but the house looks like it's in the hood compared to the other properties around that are nice. But this one is just tore up. Let me introduce you to Mr. Badass. 30 years old and still hasn't learned how to speak to people. Folks, you just can't threaten cops. It's called terroristic threats against a peace officer. Just looking at this house, there's cardboard in the window. There's an external AC hanging out. Uh, there's all these signs in the window. Just look in this guy's eyes. That's all you need to know. Look in those eyes. They are dead. Doesn't matter. Oh, Go stand over there. Straight up. I let my dogs out. Y'all ain't got no search warrant, no nothing. So can y'all please get no. off my property? Back away from me. I'm gonna let my dogs out. Don't worry about it. That's on body camera. You let them on me. That's on you. What are y'all looking for? What are y'all looking for? We gotta call that someone was shooting. Okay, All right. someone shooting. Can y'all please put that no. on the investigation and get off my property? That's what please? we're doing now. He's threatening the police who are responding to an emergency call. They have the right to investigate, which means detain people or property until they determine whether or not a crime has been committed or is being committed. That's the law. You don't have the right to tell people to get off your property, especially this is a rental. It's not his property. Okay. He's going to let the dogs out on the police. Really? Well, as someone who had their dog killed by a police officer, I know that when police feel threatened, they have every right to shoot those dogs and then to lock up this individual on terroristic threats and a slew of other charges. They don't need a search warrant. They are responding to an emergency call. What are you looking for? Well, at this point, they're looking to lock him up because he is just clearly a violent person and waiting to explode. And that's not good when cops arrive. You need to keep your cool and try to act somewhat intelligently. And they're waiting for more backup to arrive. Don't you ever threaten your dogs on me. Don't worry about it. We'll take this a whole nother way. Hey, come on out here. Come on out here and go to them. Get the fuck off my truck. It's okay. You're walking up like, like, you're swollen. You're about to ease back. Come on, go the fuck in the house, bro. Now, the police were called here because of an assault on the neighbor. And what this individual here has done is turn the entire thing around so that now the police are focused on him instead of the incident. And that's not a good thing when police come out to your house. You want to remain calm. You want to have a level head. Talking to cops like this never ends well. You need to go this way. Don't touch go. me. Don't touch you me. Go. Don't touch me. You need to go. Don't Come touch me. Let's go. Let's go. I can walk myself. Don't touch me. Go. Just walk. Just walk. Come on. 
going on right here, folks? All three of the occupants of this house are lunatics. They're just acting like they're nuts, right? Cops hate that. They don't feel safe. And the cop says, this is going to go a whole different way if you let them dogs out. And of course, the man continues to get the fuck off my property. And when the cops tell him to relax, he goes in and out of the house, which is a whole nother issue. Screaming, don't touch me, don't touch me, or I will blank you up. Another threat to the cops. Complete chaos. And this is how accidental shootings happen. Here towards the end of the clip, you see where the guy goes running back in the house and the cop tells him to stay out but the man slams the door in his face now two things about this the first cops are always going to believe you're running inside and doing this to get a gun or a weapon so now the suspicion has elevated they have no idea why a suspect is going in the house but let's not forget this call started with a 911 call where the neighbor reported gunshots so they already know there's a gun somewhere yeah, bro. I fell in possession of firearm, it sounds like. Yeah, it looks like you, you, you won't be the one that's getting out. You won't be the one that's getting out. I'm a motherfucking son, you dumbass. What's up? Don't touch my fucking jewelry, bro. Yeah, we'll be wearing the jewelry in prison. Bitch, you want to prison. That's me. I got somebody for your ass. Stop kicking me, man. I ain't got your neck to you fake ass, nigga. Put your feet in the car. 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 Totally talked himself right into jail, people. For some reason, the police do not have the actual clip of this man being arrested. And here, they say what the charges were. So let me break that down for you. He's got three counts of assault on a law enforcement officer. Number one, that's a big no-no. And that would be a third degree felony under Florida statute 836.5, I believe. Threats to a law enforcement officer are way more serious than the actual battery because that's interpretive, right? It depends on what you believe when you were threatened, the victim. Here, the guy clearly says that he's gonna do blank blank to these guys and get off my property or I will kill your ass. So that is a first degree felony in the state of Florida with each count carrying 15 years. And then he's an ex-felon and he was in possession of a gun and he was charged with exhibition of a firearm. Florida has a 1020 life statute where for brandishing a gun, you get 10 years, firing it 20. And if you hit someone, life. So this guy is facing 30 years in prison. And I got to tell you, he deserves every day of it. Thanks for watching. I'm RJ Smith. Please hit the like and subscribe. And if you want to share it with your family so that they can also check out this crazy nonsense. I'll talk to you tomorrow.